To set up an unattended robot in UiPath, we navigate to Orchestrator. Go to cloud.uipath.com and log in if needed. Then click your tenant that will take you to Orchestrator. First, we will create a folder for our unattended robots. So I click tenant, then I click folders, and I'll click this plus sign here. Let's give it a name. I will call mine Anna Jensen Org, and I'll choose the tenant package feed. I'll click create. That's it. Then click manage access. Here you will find a user most likely with an email. I have two, but I will take this Anas at Anas Jensen Org. Then go over to the right, click the three dots and click edit. First, we need to get this user a role. So down here in roles, choose allow to be automation user. Then click next, click next once more. Allow unintended robots to run automations as this user. To make it bulletproof, we'll choose user specific Windows user account. The domain and username, we will not use the auto generate. So I'll just delete this. Go to your start menu, then start typing CMD that will search for command prompt. Click enter. Now you type who am I up here. This will give you the domain and username of this Windows machine. I will copy it. Then I will paste it in over here. Control V. Down here in password, this is your Windows password. So I will type in mine. You should type in yours. Then we can click next and we're done here. We can click update. Now we need to make sure that we have the connection between orchestrator and the Windows machine that we want to automate. And let's close this one up here. What you'll do here is to go to your Windows tray, find your UiPath assistant and double click. Mine is offline at the moment and yours could be green, then everything is fine. If it's red or looks like mine here, we just need to sign in. Click this sign in. This will just give you a pop up here, a prompt in a browser. Click open UiPath. UiPath will automatically sign in. And then we can find this machine up in Orchestrator. So I go back to my Orchestrator and I can close this thing here. What you will do now is to go to machines. Here is our machine. Click the three dots over here to the right and then click edit machine. We will need to assign an unattended license to it. So type in one here or click the upper arrow. We're done here. We can click update. Then we will move to our folder over here to the left. Click the three dots, go to settings, assign machines. And this is the machine that we just had. So take it out here and click update. Now we're done. We will need a process which we can run unattended. So I go to my UiPath Studio. Let's create a new process that can show that we have connection from Orchestrator to the machine and from the machine back to Orchestrator. So you can, of course, create your own or create the similar one as I do here. So I'll click create. Take a few seconds and let's just skip all these tutorials. Then we will open up the main workflow. I'll go up here. Let's first have a message box. So I'll go to activities, then I'll search for a message box. I'll drag it in. So in quotation marks, I'll just say hello from UiPath Orchestrator. So this is when we start the robot from Orchestrator, either as a schedule or just by starting it manually, this will get shown. But I also want to send some data back to Orchestrator, for example, with the log message. And here I will use a get environment variable and I'll drag it in here. Let's just find out which operating system that I have here on my computer. I have Windows 11 Pro, but let's just find it out through UiPath. So I click this drop down here and then I find the OS version. Now I need to store this OS version. That's the version of my uh, Windows up here in an output variable. So I'll say control V, a uh, control K, and then I'll say OS version like this and click enter. Now we will make a log message that will be sent back to orchestrator. 
So here I'll find a log message, drag it in, just be an info, and it will just be the OS version. So I press control space and find it here. That's it. So this is my process that I want to run unattended. And to do uh, to publish it to orchestrator, I go up here to publish. This is the package name that is fine. The version is 1.01. It's fine. I click next. I'll choose the orchestrator tenant process feed and I'll click publish. Now we can find it in orchestrator or in two seconds. That's it. Now we can close this UI path. We will not need it anymore. We are back in orchestrator. So let's add the process. Go to our folder that we just created down here. Then we'll go to automations and we'll click add process. We will select a package and I call mine to unattended 2020, 20, uh, 2023. That was a, uh, a hard word to say 2023 demo. So that's it. Here it is. We can see the package version. That's fine. Then I can click next. We will have no additional packages that we need to install. That's fine. I can just click here. We will leave the name blank, then unattended 2023 demo will be used. I can click create. Let's close it here for now. So to run an unattended process, we can either add it from here that it will be to add a trigger to, for example, schedule it or start it whenever a queue item is getting added. But for now, it's fine just to start it manually. It will still be started unattended since we started in here. So now I will start it here. You will see that it is running. And there it is. Hello from UiPath Orchestrator. If you don't see it running, if it says something like pending, then you need to go through this guide again. You made a mistake, I promise. So let's finish it here. I click OK. To inspect the lock, that is the two way connection. I go to locks. Here you can see it. You can see that my execution started and ended. And here we have our lock message. Windows NT, that is just a lot of Windows, different Windows versions. Windows 10.0, that is Windows 10, 11 or the newer Windows servers. 22.6.2.1, that will be Windows 11. Are you a UI path developer that wants to upgrade your career and network with like minded people? Then you should join my discord. It's totally free. Here's your invitation and the guide to join.